Hey everybody, it's time for this week's Decent Gamer Review, where I'm going to be talking about Vostok Inc. Grab your switches and download this game because Vostok is amazing. And a special shout out to the Nintendo Power Couple for sending little old me the uh, a free download code for this game. So much fun and I doubt I would have bought it on my own but I'm so glad that I got to play it and I'm definitely recommending it. Uh, to all my friends. You got to see a little bit of it and hear a little bit about it a few weeks ago when I unboxed the download code from the Nintendo Power Couple. And that already gave you the overview. You are an evil executive bent on making the most moolah as possible. Easy, straightforward, you go through all these different galaxies just colonizing planets with your business and make so much money. And the more money you make, the different things you can build, the more solar systems you can go to, and at the end of every solar system there's a boss. Okay, easy. Makes sense. What is extra special fun is there are many games inside just to add a little bit more variety and give you something to do while you're waiting for the money to build up. Each executive that you rescue in space comes with its own mini game, but I have to say some of the mini games can be really hard. Um, I was best at the Knight Rider game where you dodge in and out of traffic, and I probably would have been equally as good at the Mario Kart ripoff if I had played it more. Um, but in each of these mini games, it's like a little uh, Neopet thing. So as you play, you get little rewards to feed your executives so they remain happy. So I really just played the Knight Rider one over and over because I would get like nine or ten presence for the executives every time I played it. So it was just the most effective way. Uh, but some of them, ooh, some of them I did find very difficult and that is a little unfortunate because I gave up trophies because of it. Um, there's like over 500 trophies in this game. Most of them, you, you rack them up pretty quickly just in the natural course of earning money and dying and things like that. Um, but, you know, some of them do require specific records in these mini games and I just knew there was no way I was going to be able to do that. So once I beat the final boss, eh, Maybe I'll pick it up later, um, but I'm kind of at a point of diminishing returns. But the main game is really, really, really fun. And like I said, all you do is run around collecting things. Uh, so I, again, I definitely recommend this game. I think it'd be really fun to complete if you're a little bit better than me, but I'm just a decent gamer. So... We have to set the bar a little low. But if you're better than me, you will want to complete this game and you will have a ton of fun doing it. If you're a decent gamer, you will have a ton of fun playing it, but probably not worth the stress of trying to complete all the mini games. Well, I mean, you can play them all once, but getting a high record, I don't know. I don't know. Especially with like the totally random games, but. Anyway, uh, as far as decent, as far as decent in the other sense, it it is a totally fine game. It's, I would say, well, I think a teen or above would be the best. But for me personally, 
I do think the target audience was my generation, maybe like mid-twenties and up. It's a really hipster game. And it's very satirical, full of allusions to games from my childhood. So I feel like it is much more targeted to me than young players. I think young players will still enjoy it, but they might not get It's Dangerous to Go Alone or They're Dead Gym or things like that. Obviously you're playing as a corrupt businessman, so it lets you feed that villain tendency um, and give you, in the back of the mind, those environmental and success lessons that, hey, using a company to totally destroy the environment, that's a thing bad people do. Or, hey, caring about money before everything else, that's a thing bad people do. Uh, so it's got the reverse psychology uh, protagonist, as it were. Um, so, you know, fun, but not too, like serious, right? It's not a serious game. It is just a fun game. And again, you can share it, give it to anyone. I think most people would enjoy it, even if they don't get all the references. But I do think um, this would be better for players in there who are adults who are mid 20s and, and older just because of the writing in the game uh, mechanically anybody could play it so uh, I totally recommend Vostok I totally recommend the switch I totally recommend everything I've been playing some really good games recently right very pro these games. Which is good. I don't want to be spending my money on games I don't like. So, whew. And on that note, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, Interceptor out.